Hi guys, Ancient Warrior, welcome back to Prepping USA. Let's talk about forever foods. Now, I'm just going to hit you with a handful of things. Nothing, I don't want you to have to really sit there and try to digest a bunch. The first forever food you should get is salt. I don't care if it's iodized or sea salt or Himalayan pink or what. You need to stock in at least 20 to 50 pounds, depending on the size of your family. Salt is necessary for your survival, not only for cooking and canning, but also, folks, for your overall health. Number two, sugar. <clears throat> Try to get sugar and get it into mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. Folks, you get it in there, sugar can clump up all at once. It'll clump, but you all you do is take it, you break it down a little bit and use it. Excuse me. I did some work out in the yard yesterday and the allergies are trying to get me. Third thing, vinegar. White and apple cider. Can be used for cleaning, cooking, store it, you know, canning, and apple cider vinegar is excellent to drink. To help you, uh, it it's a it's a great fat reducer. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you about vinegar is don't buy it in plastic jars, plastic bottles. Get it only if you can get it in a uh, glass jar, glass bottles. Because glass does not break down, plastic does. And for these environmentalists who say, we're going to be living a thousand years with one bottle. Now, I hate to tell them, once the heat gets to plastic, it's done for. Uh, I see it out, out at work all the time. So, number four. Now, you do want beans and rice. You want to get beans. Pinto beans, black beans, um, white beans, you know, just depend on the, what your family eats and what you like. And you want to get them in dry. If you can get them fresh out of the field, you live over around Colorado or somewhere, one of the states where they actually have bean crops, Get them before they, they do anything to the beans, just after they're bagged. Because that can also be a seed product for you. Now, rice. Rice is a staple around the world. I think about the only, the only country that doesn't do a lot with rice it's probably the United States and Canada <coughs> because we were founded by Europeans. Asians tend to eat a lot of rice. And let me tell you something. I know rice is a complex carbohydrate, but I'm going to tell you something right now. You mix it with vegetables and a small amount of protein and some kind of fat, and that's an excellent meal that will leave you full for a good portion of the day. With those five items, folks, I'm going to leave you with that. Now, on your sugar, you if you want to get honey, get it in the glass bottles. Or if you can eat, and you want to get it before it's been pasteurized. 
because it kills all the help, helpful benefits of the of the uh, honey. With that being said, folks, stock up. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, we've been seeing riots for what the last month around the country. So now it's time to get stocked up, get ready. <coughs> come, come, uh, come November, or just before the election, we could see a lot more problems coming up because uh, Antifa and groups like that have promised it. So, with that being said, folks, it's better to have and not need than need and not have. I'm the Ancient Warrior, and I'm out.